was a part of the science expo when Inca Tuko came to the school and it introduced us uh, science ideas on how to like explore yourself and so I was very interested. If it wasn't for being Inca Tuko, we wouldn't really have the experience from the expo. So we had a mentor who helped us go through the experience and then she helped us like when we needed some information, helped us how to investigate and how to actually present our project. Katuto held a, like a science expo for the students within the school who entered like submissions and stuff so I had entered it uh, in order to enter for the regionals. Okay, project here is it was about other galaxies and how they formed and everything about it. What I've learned is that we don't only have one kind of galaxy, we have different kinds of galaxies and now we scenario in the near galaxy, which we didn't know. A galaxy is a gravitationally bound system um, consisting of stars, um, gases, and dark matter, as well as dust. Yes. My project was about waste product reasons. It involved a research and doing a research about the environment that I live in. What inspired me to do that research is because in the environment that I live in, there are lots of dark sides. And I wanted to do a campaign that we must stop littering everywhere because that is going to be the time. My project was based on an architectural design which we used for during natural disasters when bridges usually get destroyed or get torn down. Uh, it was uh, based on like a design for a temporary solution that we put in. So My project was about wind, solar and energy is it uh, renewable resources and I thought to myself that you know uh, the resources that we have are being exhausted at the moment, so I decided to use a, a resource that would, I, that would be a long-term solution for the Earth and for the humans. Siyama Ma is a good guy. He is not like other boys in school. What I like about him is that he is very passionate about what he does. Yeah, he talks a lot. <laughs> but then, you know, he's very interesting. Like, you can learn new things from him. Yeah. yeah. He's very educated as well, for his age. So. Um, Nkatugo is the one which introduced the Esco in Expo in our school, which is on the right. But how I joined this was, how I joined it, it was quite interesting. What happened is, like, the, 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 my friend said we should go in together as a team. So, on the day of presentation, my friend was not present. So, I had to do this all on my own. Then my friend decided to just say I must continue the journey because it won't be fair because I qualified alone. In 2016, my project was about um, animal veterinary science, which was an investigation about how people knew about animals. And through the investigation, I I found out that people don't know about animals. People are interviewed, people from my school and from other from other schools where I live. So I really like people to know about animals. That's why I did the project. Through the Inkatubo, I managed to obtain top four, which was held in my school. Then I qualified to go to the regional expo. Then I, I got myself a bronze medal, which in end me to go to the international expo. Science is quite interesting. It's not as hard as it seems. People say science is different, but it's not. You just need to study it, study it and be more observant because if you are observant, you will see a lot of things. And science happens all around us, like matter. Matter is everything. In the formulas of physics, they are trying, they are just trying to trick you because, for for example, they say what is potential energy. Then people say mass times height times times gravitational force, which is quite confusing. Just just keep it simple and you'll pass uh, science. My name is Kensani Makubele. I'm a life science teacher, science HOD at Lunde High School. Okay, uh, there's a young lady, her name is Tandega Mplanga from Katuto. Now she approached us that there is this competition for science students and she would like our students to, uh, to participate on that competition. And uh, definitely, um, I want to be honest with you, she is the one who pushed us into this project and we find it very interesting. We did it at a very short space of time, but fortunately, we managed to uh, participate in the regional competition and we won some medals and we are proud of Nkatuto. Thank you so much.